guys, Silverplate22 here, bringing you another top five silvers on my channel. I'm really, really enjoying this series. I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments below. We're so close to a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. I'm going to do a special uh, version of these top uh, silvers for the thousands episode. I'm going to do a top ten of my favorite silvers of all time, as well as another special video that I'm going to do as well. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this series. As I said, Road to Silver Glory coming out tomorrow, and let's get straight into the left mids and left wings. Now, the, you know what? So far, the left mids and left wings has been the hardest one for me to choose my top five. Any of the players on the nearly made it list could have actually made it this week. Mayer is a player that I absolutely love from Albania. Really top quality player. Dermats has been amazing for a few years now. Just switched out to the left mid position. Dwight Gale, the only reason he's not on this list because he is phenomenal. The only reason is I feel like he's more of a striker than he is, you know, as a, as a left winger. Although he does actually play better than I possibly anticipated. And Lozano is a player who's awesome, but I haven't played with him as much as some of the other guys. I just felt like I couldn't put him on the list. Anyway, guys, I think you're going to be surprised surprised at who's number one and let's get straight into it by looking at number five now number five is a player who i gave a really high rating to now a lot of the time the ratings are what i think of the player but not necessarily how much fun i have with him and this 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 these top five lists are how much i personally enjoy the player it's not necessarily how good they are or how yeah how amazing they are stats wise it's how well they play for me and it's my personal list so as you can see here is Quedo he's got eight, uh, 95 acceleration 94 sprint speed 88 stamina 80 uh, sorry 94 agility 87 balance and 77 crossing really top quality winging player very fast very good at crossing and he's got a decent long shot on him as well absolutely love this guy had a lot you know, I've used him quite a lot as I've said before I love the pro league and let's get in to number four now number four is a bit of a slower player we've got Bruno Cesar who is a Brazilian from Sporting Lisbon and he starts off life as a cam and a lot of people don't touch this guy which is why he's so cheap considering his incredible stats because he's a left midfielder but that the fact that he's got 70 pace isn't the be all and end all because this guy has incredible crossing power in his shots good short passing good long passing you know you might not play him as a left winger because maybe he doesn't have enough pace but as a left mid or even pushing into a left forward he is phenomenal he's got great finishing great passing he's an all-round player absolutely love this guy only really used started using him about two or three months ago absolutely awesome awesome player and number three is a player I've talked about quite a bit recently. It's Emil Forsberg. And Emil Forsberg didn't actually get as high a score when I reviewed him as his Cuerdo. But as an actual player that I love to use, Forsberg is one of my favourite players on the game. He's got such good dribbling. The ball just sticks to his feet. And it feels like you sort of get consistently lucky. And I know that's not a thing, but it feels like you just... You're dancing in and out of people, and although I don't feel like he's he's like Ronaldo level of dribbling or anything, he seems to get around people almost all the time. And there's only so many times you can call it luck before you say, "Hang on a minute, this guy's amazing at getting around people." He's actually quite quick. He's got decent acceleration, which is amazing. His sprint speed's not as high, but 85 acceleration is good enough to get around people. And he's you know he's good enough on the ball. He's got good agility and balance, so that when you, once you pass someone, they're not going to catch you. Awesome player. Number two, we've got an absolutely ridiculously fast player, Fahad Almawal. Um, Wallad, who is a player who I've done a review on. I've done a review on quite a few of these guys, so if you haven't already checked them out, definitely go check them out. This guy is, yeah, he's all pace. You could say that. He's got acceleration 95, spin speed 97, but he's not all pace. He's got 99 agility, 95 balance, good crossing. 84 crossing is the highest we've had on the list so far. He's absolutely awesome, this guy. The more I've used him, the more I've fallen in love with him, not just because he's so quick, because I'm not the sort of player who pace holes all the time, but he's so good on the ball, and he's got such a good cross in him, I couldn't not put him at number two. And as I said before, number one is definitely going to surprise you, because it's not a team of the season, it's not an inform, it is Mohamed El Yunusi. Now, you might be thinking, what? Why would you put Mohamed Al Yunusi at number one? Well, this guy, I have got a, a Mohamed Al Yunusi in my club that I've played for over 350 games with him because I absolutely love this guy. It's not just the five star skills, it's everything. He's a package player. His stats don't look amazing, but he's one of those players that's just so broken. He's got finesse shot, flair, technical dribbler, decent acceleration, decent sprint speed, great on the ball. Actually, you know, his crossing's only in this like high 60s, but because of that decent curve, he seems to whip a great ball in every time. And obviously, the five star skill moves are going to massively help because you can just get around anyone if you know a few of the skill moves. Love this player. One of my favourite players on the game. Definitely one of my favourite players of FIFA 16 and previous FIFAs. So that's my list, guys. 
a top five uh, left mids. So even some of the players, you know, there was there was some players who didn't make it onto the nearly list. Even though they were so close, I probably could have done a top 15 left mids. It's actually one of my favourite positions. It's I've got so many players that I love there. And I would love to know, who is your favourite left mid or left winger on FIFA 16? There are so many to choose from. I, I was, you know, as I've started to do uh, Road to Silver Glory, you're going to see the next episode. There's a player in there who could possibly go in. I haven't used him enough, but you'll see who it is when the episode comes out. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for all the subscribers. Thanks for all the support. And yeah... Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Cheers, guys.